everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our October 2021 All 12 Sign Overview. Now I will start out with a general message that will be uh, sort of a channel message. Guys, I'm not really going into a full channel. It's more mediumship, okay? <laughs> but we're doing like a general message for everybody and then we will go into All 12 Signs. Even though I am putting this out for October 2021, please treat this video and any video that I put up on my channel as timeless. There could always be a message there that is right for you. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will not have an option up for an Akashic Records reading, but if you would like to have one of those, just make note in your submission form. I also have all kinds of Archangel seven day meditation challenges over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, I will have also added the Archangel Gabriel seven day meditation challenge. So get over there and check that out. So just give me a moment here. I'm going to get centered. I will close my eyes and let's see what is coming up for October 2021. What we need to be aware of. Mad scramble. There's everyone sort of converging into the center of the United States and this uh, causes a lot of turmoil. Because people feel invaded. And there's going to be a storyline here of we were never good enough for the people on the coast. And now you realize that where you live is dangerous and too crowded. And so now you're flooding in towards us. Housing crisis. I just heard a housing crisis. Okay, Oregon, Washington, California, be careful. Pacific Northwest, I'm seeing a lot of somehow destruction going on around there. What that is caused by, we know it could be an earthquake, it could be fires, but it could also be a uh, man-made destructive environment. A leak, a leak. I'm seeing Idaho, but I don't know why. Trafficking. So there are going to be bus around that. Okay. I, I'm seeing energy flowing over from Europe, Middle East, coming down to West Africa. Of course, as of the recording of this, we have the Canary Islands and a volcano there erupting. Unsettled. Everything is just so uncertain and unsettled. And people are scrambling and out of their fear, they might, I'm hearing overtake. So there could be something where people, they just think they're more entitled to something than someone else. And as a matter of fact, they're trying to do this thing. I'm telling you guys, this is like a repeat of pushing like in America, the Native Americans off the land. Um, again, it's entitled... Perhaps, it could be like wealthy or just the idea here is people think that they're better than somebody else and they're coming in and forcing them off the land. This isn't just October, but this could live, uh, lead to some sort of like a threat of a civil war. It's desperation. It's people in pain in desperation. Trying to feel out if this is going to be like a major overt thing or if this is more covert. Where unless you live in that small town, you wouldn't be aware of it. There is an ocean of promise. This is how it's coming through. An ocean of promise. Now, there, there are new discoveries. Better alert systems. That feels like around weather. But ocean is water, water, emotions. The potential here is for us to see just how far off base we've gotten with one another and people starting to make some real moves to bring it back. I see people opening their homes to people who are fleeing and then regretting it. And it's, it's teaching us this lesson of 
you must be careful in how you offer help. We're seeing more, and I'm not encouraging this, uh, but there's a message here of more civilian heroes. Be careful. Don't try to be a hero. But I, I'm seeing here where there are some, yeah, tragedy averted. People are changing the way they think and really questioning their beliefs. If you have gone down a road of uh, a political affiliation, we'll see more and more people pulling away from that and say, no, I won't choose. I won't choose a side. I will make decisions based on facts. And then there's a spiritual side to this as well. People who have gone down the road of the superficial. You're seeing this come back to you now and you're making adjustments. This doesn't mean everyone will be punished. It just means that there is something to be aware of there. What makes you feel so powerless that you feel like you have to use an esoteric art as manipulation? Manipulation is manipulation. Do everything from a space of integrity. There's a brief moment here where the, the job market starts to really heat up. And this is around the world. And I see gates going like this, closing. So we're being closed off and there's a scramble to get people to work still. Um, but it's not what you think. It's not because people are lazy, it's because they're afraid. And people will disagree with that. Watch your reaction. Watch how you get stirred up. Watch how you think you're so sure of what the facts are without knowing the facts. That will need to be remedied as well. More cooperation. I'm seeing there are more storms, but I see a very, very, very stormy ocean. And there's a ship on this ocean. And it's a, a ship that's so huge uh, that you wouldn't think that it could get tossed around like a toy. And there is something capsizing. Please be careful. Um, if you are in the Navy, especially if you're an officer, I don't know much about that at all. But... Um, Really pay attention to your radar. And don't get pompous about it and say, I know how to do my job. I trust that you do. But this is an extra warning. Pay extra attention to any radar. And certainly do not go out if you're just a civilian, not just a civilian. If you are a civilian, please make sure that you are careful around water. Canada. Uh, I am mostly seeing like a blanketing. It's just be careful of the weather. Be careful of weather. And there will be other hot topics going on there too. And some shocking news coming out, certainly. So that will be okay. I'm going to come on back in here and just kind of talk to you here. Um, so October on an individual level does feel like I'm just taking care of things little by little, or I'm just taking step by step. It has that kind of feel about it. And I think individuals are getting to a space of, you know what, I'm going to just take the day off of work. I am going to rest. I am going to um, just, you know, lay low, I think is what this is. Because what's going on out out in the world, even if it doesn't get covered by the news. Remember, um, I'm never really big on predictive 
readings, I'm doing a little bit of it here, only because free will can change energy. Of course it can't. But in this case, when we're talking about world stuff, if we can, I, I can pick up on an energy and put it out there, we can work on, you know, putting our own, you know, good frequency out there, I guess, <laughs> and try to change things. But just because you, you know, you get to an end of a month and you look back and you say, look, nothing happened. You don't know that. You don't know that. And on a more sort of individual level, I've been in places where I knew what the true story was. And then I saw how it was out in the news. And it was very vague. You know, try to make it seem like it was something else. And again, that wasn't, that wasn't necessarily that particular news outlet that was trying to twist the information. It was what they were given. So it was, it, was, it was this group of people that were involved that were trying to hide the truth. Okay. Now, we are not entitled to every truth. Some of the things that get reported, this is an interesting message. Some of the things that are getting reported, um, they don't necessarily, it's going to just stir things up and it doesn't, right? It's not what you think. So in the example I was given where I knew what the true story was, it was really no one's business. It was interpersonal issues and someone tried to come in and save and, you know, there was some drama around that. And so that caused drama in the industry. And then, you know, reporters are coming and going, what was that all about? And people are like, oh, nothing, because they don't need to know, right? So I think there's a message here too. Like if we don't get all the truth, it, it might be because we didn't need it, <laughs> okay? It doesn't really have any impact on you. I'm telling you, the weather, the storms, I'm seeing snow, like, um, when I was seeing Canada, like, Canada, I know, I'm from Northwest Ohio, it's not exactly Canada, but it's close, okay, <laughs> or across the lake from each other, but um, I know you already get, you know, weather, uh, winter weather as it is, this feels more profound, okay, this feels like a bigger deal, so this could be unbelievable blizzards, um, and I do want to put this out very strongly right now without panicking. It's not so you get anxious about it. Okay. Absolutely get prepared. Um, Northeast here in the United States, be prepared for anything. <laughs> um, but especially with snowstorms, you know, obviously you, you probably are already well versed on how to winterize your home. Uh, make sure that any vents don't have snow piled up on them, all of that, making sure you have um, plenty of food, you know, all that kind of stuff. I, I know this seems a little like extreme. If you have like a flower box or something, bring it indoors and plant food in it. I don't think you're gonna starve. I don't think it's that bad. But it might be something like that, I think, is kind of over the coming years where we're headed, where we're really going to have to start having, growing our own food year round. Um, things will never be the same. Things will never, and that's not to make you upset. That's, that's just to be aware. Don't resist, okay? Like we are coming up with things that, things are coming up in our face that absolutely needs to be taken care of. Um, but in the meantime, until we find a solution, we need to be taking care of ourselves, okay? Um, upheaval in Africa. Okay, so I have viewers in Africa. Hi, you guys stay up like in the middle of the night sometimes to like be able to chat <laughs> on the little chat thing. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for that, for your support. Um, upheaval in Africa. Um, Ah, I, okay. There, there's already enough that we know about some of the humanitarian crises in, in Africa, but, um, like it gets zeroed in on someone. Like we get clarity around something around that. Again, if this doesn't hit the news, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I'm not in charge of what goes on the news, but, um, you know, do you need to be worried? No, but it's a turnabout. It's a turnabout. So you're, okay, if you're in, I don't even know what region, I see kind of, um, the West Coast there. Um, I don't know what you call that, but all, all the regions around there. OK, 
Okay, so there's partly like it, you could be, could be getting earthquakes as well, um, but it's the people standing up. Revolution is going to be a word on our lips. Revolution, I'm feeling strongly around Africa too. So there could be something that's kicking off around there. And this isn't just for October. Again, this is timeless. But um, I think that's where everyone's then kind of like, okay, 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 we're, we're learning how to cope. And this month there, there could be like real uh, growth for a lot of us around that okay learning how to cope and learning how to uh, contribute without being a part of the problem <laughs> right contributing to the solution not being a part of the problem all right so i think we're good with that message comment down below and let's get on to each of the signs hi there aries let's get a couple of cards for you and let's see what kind of story is unfolding for you Your fire goes out, okay? The fire in you, that's how they're putting it. It just kind of goes out. And I think what this is, is you're reevaluating. <laughs> you're reevaluating. So, yeah, let me see if I can make up an example here. It's that sort of thing like, I want that position in this company. And then you get in there, you're going up the ladder, and then you start seeing all the corruption. You start seeing that you, work, you are, in fact, working with sociopaths. Uh, you see that the industry does not stand for what you thought it did and now you're kind of like oh my gosh okay so you're getting yeah you're getting clarity about a goal a dream something that you were going after or this could be it, it really is a beautiful moment where you're like you know what i want to spend more time with my family or you know what i want to heal if you're somebody who lives on your own and you know, maybe you don't have family or anything like that. That's fine. Um, there's some emotional turnover where you're realizing I don't need to put the effort or energy into that. And this is a bit of changing direction in that sense. So it's more about changing direction with perspective. So don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. The, this is it. This is like that thing where you're like, this is the dream. This is what I want. This is what I want. And then you get a feel for the industry. You get a feel for what people really stand for. And you're like, <laughs> I don't think so. And with the mention of Leo here, you might be looking at how you, uh, the, you know, solar plexus, like how you are seen out in the world. And you might come to some conclusion. You know what? I'm not going after this because I really want it. I'm going after it because of, of what I think it would mean or how it would uh, validate me in some way so that's what this is saying you know don't let your life get held up don't let your happiness get held up because of how you think others perceive you okay luck is on your side so and this is a uh, new moon in sagittarius so exploring new opportunities branching out <laughs> open your perspective and branch out now this doesn't mean that you have to force a solution but just be open to whatever might be coming your way it says luck is on your side. So I do think that you'll get some bit of clarity. Um, yeah, I, I definitely have seen this where people are like, okay, now I see what this place is all about. I'm out of here. And they turn right around and they get out of there and they go off and start something on their own. Um, you know, I'm speaking very heavily about career, but it could be anything. I mean, it could be, let's say you're part of a, I don't know, a book club and you're noticing that the person in charge is getting awful sassy and getting awful controlling and, you know, bossing everybody around. You're like, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm out of here. Now, this is, this card says emotions are running high super moon. I do think a lot of you are very humbled by some of the things that you're seeing going on out in the world. And this might play a part in you shifting, right? So it is that kind of thing where it's like, um, yeah, I've gotten so single-minded about this one thing that I really think I want. And now all these other things are happening in the world. And it's sort of, it's very sobering. That's the word I want to use. It's very sobering. And you realize, wow, I put my energy into things that don't matter. Wow, I have allowed myself to forget everything else around. And I feel like the potential effect this can have for you is, first of all, a calming effect really nice <laughs> it's like a calming effect and maybe you 
decide to have more fun, to like embrace life a little bit more and uh, enjoy the company of the people that you choose to have around you and go off and try something new. Be safe because we are be careful with that. Okay. Because we do have a lot of weird energy out there, but maybe you are, you know, I wouldn't start because we have a uh, Mercury retrograde for a portion of this month. So I wouldn't go off and like start a brand new business right, right during that time. But as far as like, you know, trying something like trying a new restaurant or, you know, maybe as a kid, you used to love, I don't know, some sort of sport or activity. And maybe you try that again, give yourself a chance to decompress. I really think that that's what it is. So if you see like a, uh, like a, a gas stove and the flame, you know, you're turning that flame down. You're turning that flame down and you're giving yourself a chance to regenerate. This is a big time for you. So, you know, when you start feeling like pressure to keep working hard, keep working hard, keep working hard, remember this video where you'll get further if you let some of that creativity cook a little bit. <laughs> and the way you do that is by shifting gears. So whatever that is for you. Yes. So, you know, I'm getting this weird example. Like if you're somebody who's super, super, super creative, maybe I don't know, making this up. Maybe you write music and you hit up on a block. Go put together a puzzle. I hate puzzles, but maybe you don't. Go put together a puzzle because what this is doing is it's kind of shifting gears um, or maybe go off and let that go for a minute and go off and do some bookkeeping or go off and, you know, just try something that's the opposite of what you do. All right. So if you are like, let's say you're an accountant, maybe go off and, and do something that's a little more creative. Okay. Not that you have to be very creative, creative solutions in accounting. Y'all are my saviors every year around tax season. Okay. But, <laughs> but you give yourself a chance to exercise a different part of your brain, whatever that means for you. All right. We're going to leave it there for you and get on to the next sign. Hi there, Taurus. Let's see what is going on for you. We'll get a few cards here. This, there's love here, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see. It's like loving what you do. It almost has this, it sounds so um, <laughs> like grandiose to say that you're falling in love with life, but maybe you are finding a way to relax a little bit more. Aries got this too, where you're learning to relax a little bit more and just enjoy your moment to moment instead of pushing, pushing, pushing. But also this is getting to do something that you love. So, and I'm hearing prosperity too. Okay, there's one card. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay. Yeah, making time for people that you love. I think a lot of people are going to be doing this. Wow, your card. Okay, so you guys get a bonus card. They're falling out everywhere. <laughs> so you also have don't let your your past hold you back. South note, you are not who you used to be. Uh, time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Okay. And the energy is gaining momentum. So what this is, is it's, it's kind of going, okay, I can't keep pushing in this direction anymore. Uh, and maybe it's in a relationship for you because there is something about love here, but it doesn't feel like explosive love. This feels like um, maybe reconnecting. There could be that or finding a healthier way to be in love, whether that's healthier communication or if you're single, being healthier about who you let in you know, all of that. So you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in cancer. For you guys, this actually has a really lovely feeling of reconnecting with people that maybe you have separated from. There could be some healing here. All right. Now there's going to be potentially a lot happening always in the world, <laughs> but here in October. So you might have some concern about loved ones, you know, as long as they're aware and prepared, they'll be all right. So this, is, this also feels like maybe you haven't wanted to make certain moves because you're concerned about your family. Maybe you're the breadwinner uh, in your family or you're a single parent and you're like, well, you know, I did want to go off and explore a different opportunity. Be careful. Mercury is retrograde for part of this month. Um, I did want to go off and explore another opportunity, but I can't make that leap because what if I don't make the money, you know, and all that. And they're saying you're safe. But okay, so as we say that, remember, these are general readings. Don't just go quit one job and try to start something else and you don't have any income over here and you have three kids to feed. That's not what we're saying to do here. What we're saying is, is you can explore it. There is a way to make it work. Okay. And then don't let your past hold you back. South note, you're letting go of a ton of past trauma, past pain, 
um, past narratives, past expectations, and this is you having to talk to yourself in a different way as well. So not just taking this viewpoint that the world is out to get you maybe or that you have bad luck or whatever. It's, it's nothing of the sort. It's you saying, no, I'm going to release all of those times where I thought I was incapable or I wasn't good enough to do X, Y, and Z or to experience healthy relationships or what have you. I'm letting all of that go. It's my time to start fresh and, and to be focused on really it is follow your joy. It's that, um, but balancing it with practicality, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So we'll do this one next. Take time to breathe out. Disseminate moon. This might be a good time to take some time off. Again, Aries got that message too. Um, but for you, it's bigger. Okay. For you, it's bigger. Now, if you can safely, okay, uh, we're going to have issues going on all through fall, all through winter. Okay. But if you can travel, don't do it at the beginning of the month. This would be more towards the end of the month. Let me take a couple days off, um, see, you know, just change the scenery, just something that helps you to um, unwind. It's very that. <laughs> uh, so you might have been pushing and pushing. You know, go back and watch Aries too, even if you don't have a lot of Aries in your chart. Uh, yes, I am reading them back to back, but I clear the energy and I read fresh for everybody. There's some overlap there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna honor that. We're not gonna talk around it. We're gonna honor it. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. You're getting in touch with what you want, and it is what I feel is like this refreshing. Like, okay, I'm gonna unplug from that. I'm gonna come on over here. I'm gonna work on myself. I'm gonna heal, but I'm gonna give myself a chance to rest as well. And then you pull back, get all this taken care of. You sort of rev your engine, and now you're getting ready later on in the month to move on something, okay? So the, the clarity is coming, but you have to qu kind of quiet the noise before you can get there. But once you do, I feel giddy. So there's something fun, <laughs> whether that's a new, you know, a new friend, or maybe if you're single and you're looking for a love partner, somebody really good and healthy comes in um, that you don't have to like change who you are, especially if you're a woman in a heterosexual relationship having to live for him, that's actually extremely unhealthy. And that's, that might be a diagnosis. I don't know. That's not for me to say, I'm going to watch my microphone too close to my necklace. Um, <laughs> but you know, check with an expert if you do feel like you have some negative patterns, because that might be part of, for some of you, you might actually be starting therapy this month because you're letting go of the past. So make sure you are getting proper help with that. Now, if you're already working on that part and you want to work on detaching. So I have Sandalfin coming up for you guys for one. So he's all about balancing and harmonizing and um, realizing it's not that bad. He's wonderful for that. It's not that bad. Or you're stronger than you think, right? You have the tools. You need to believe in yourself more and Archangel Sandalfin can help you with that. But also Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah helps you with the past and maybe even past life patterns. Well, if you want to see it in a linear fashion, then it would be past life, you know, all of these kinds of things. So it's a beautiful month of growth, of relaxation, and some new surprises coming in for you. All right? So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hi there, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you. Get a couple of cards here for you. Right off the bat, I felt like it um, feels very cerebral, uh, but there's sort of like a dispute. Yeah, I want to be careful with what I call this. A dispute that perhaps you're like, okay, you know what? Let it play out. Just let it play out. And now you're really getting a win-win somehow in this where you're, you're not just trying to be right. You're not just trying to get one over on someone else, but you're really wanting uh, the highest good for everybody. You come at it with that intention. You'll find that the solutions come. Okay. So we have your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. So culmination. Hmm. You know what it is? It's like, this is something that was like very surface level, but important to you, right? So it's not to diminish how it made you feel, but it's, it's coming to an end. It's getting a resolution and now you're kind of free to reevaluate. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, stepping out of your comfort zones. You're getting a new plan here because something was holding you back. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. There you go. And believe in the impossible blue moon. All right. You're trying something new here. I've been telling everybody so far, be careful. Mercury is retrograde. Last I heard. Uh, you're trying something brand new. I'm telling you, like something that was like a very, very practical problem. It took a lot of your energy. Maybe some of you were sort of ruminating even. Um, it's really weighing on you, whatever this is, whether it's like, what do I do about a work situation or is this relationship the right one for me? Or why do, am I not in a relationship? Or what am I going to do about my finances? You know, what am I going to do about that court case? You know, all of those things. And this says, okay, that's coming to a close now. That's getting resolved. I'm hearing resolution. Now we have your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus. Uh, and, and now you're having to um, get real. <laughs> you're having to get real. So this is like that kind of friend who goes, Okay, you've been talking about starting whatever, whatever. You've been talking about, like in my case, you're, you've been talking about finishing that book. How you doing on that? How you doing on that? How you doing on that? You're like, will you stop? I... Now you realize, okay, if I do want to make things happen, I need to make them happen for myself. So you might be going back and uh, picking up something that you hadn't finished before and, and working that out. But you're taking this whole other uh, approach. Okay, so it's step out of your comfort zone, north node. So if you're going to head in the direction of your purpose, you need to be willing to detach. And, you know, whatever this thing was, I think it had weighed on you so much that you're almost like in the habit of thinking about it, right? So you're going to have to like start saying to yourself, that's all over now. I am safe. That's all over now. I am safe. That's all over now. I am free, right? And, and just reminding yourself of that. And believe in the impossible blue moon. You might feel like, nah, it doesn't matter what I do. Nothing's going to work. And being fearful of people coming in and interfering. Or trying to, you know, wreck your reputation. Or, you know, there, there's some fear where you, maybe before you thought someone was going to try to stand in the way of you doing something that would make you happy. And now you have found a resolution to that. So, and again, it feels like a win-win. Yeah. And if you don't know how that looks, the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. You do not have all of the information yet. And I feel like there's a bit of jumping to conclusions about how you think other people are feeling and they don't feel that way. So it could be this kind of thing where, you know, I don't know, you're going to go off and start a project. Remember, you might want to do that towards the end of the month. Uh, you're going to go off and start some project, but, um, you know, you felt like, well, if I go too far with that, someone's going to get in the way and sabotage me. And then you find out that person is actually really behind you and, and rooting for you, like genuinely <laughs> rooting for you. And that could come as a big shock to you, right? So someone's going to reveal something. That's what it is. Someone brings you information or some information comes to light. And it's not like this. I mean, it's kind of mind boggling and like, oh, oh, so you're not mad about that? Oh, like they have this completely different perspective and you're there for some of you, you were kind of worried for nothing. Um, and I feel like some of you are out there watching this and going, well, what about a love partner? Here's the deal for a lot of you. If you are not with somebody, it is because you were supposed to examine something. Now I've seen where people go running back to an ex and they go running back into a very toxic dynamic, it's because they didn't learn their lesson. And some of you may be going through that. But um, if you're hoping that what we're talking about here is someone coming forward and saying, I love you, and, and you're always wondering whether they did or not, it's more about you looking at the issue of why was it so important that that particular person loves you. that they are your source of love. That's problematic, okay? And you would need to look at, you know, what maybe traumas or hurt or pain or whatever would be behind that, where it was so imperative that it'd be that one person who loves you, okay? For others out there, this, I'm telling you, it's like things coming to a resolution, getting kind of completed, and then you have some freedom to go back and tie up other loose ends and then you're figuring out a new way forward. 
again, it needs a practical plan. <laughs> so be careful with that. But I like it. I like the feeling that we're getting here. So don't give up. All right. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hi there, Cancer. Let's see what is going on for you. There is a truck outside that is beeping. If you hear a faint little beeping noise in the background, that's what that is. <laughs> All right. Things don't tend to pick up on this particular mic as much as other microphones that I've used, but I never know until I go back and edit. So I don't mind. I'm used to the beeping trucks around here, but just, just be aware. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you. Ooh. Oh, okay. Before I even pull any cards, I'm going to tell you, it feels like you've got your emotional strength back. This is nice because if you are somebody who has been through emotional abuse, you don't just kid yourself into saying, I'm over it. I'm good. No, the wheels are going to come off. You can't do that. Right. But this is like, I've done the work. I have a deep understanding. I'm ready to let go. And now this is like the scapegoat that, um, recovers. There's, there's not a being out there that's more powerful than that, <laughs> right? They've been through that stuff. They, they've done the hard work and they've come on out of it so much better. And um, I think that's what you're doing. Or there's been some emotional turmoil perhaps for you. And it is finding its way to closure. Now, closure does not mean the other person sits there and pours their heart out to you or whatever situation you get all this like you know nice little neat little story around it so that you can feel at peace with it closure happens within you when you say i am ready to let that go there's the closure okay so we can't depend on what other people are going to do we cannot control what they're going to do but there you go so you're coming to peace with something that maybe previously had been really weighing on you and it's done now it's done you can have a fresh beginning <laughs> okay so let's see what we have here. There's one. <laughs> we have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Yeah. So this is wanting a fresh start. Um, but that coming by kind of unplugging. This is, I mean, this has been a running theme for a lot of people, but for you, it, it is sort of like, I'm not going to use meditation and contemplation to do all this woo woo stuff around manipulating the energy. That's not what this is. This is, I'm going to be at peace with myself. I'm not going to keep looking at the other person going, why did they do this? Why did they do that? Why, 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 why? But rather looking at me and going, why am I letting that into my life? Even that's a little judgmental of the other person, but what in me attracts that in? What in me thinks that I deserve that treatment or what in me you know, am I pushing too hard? And this could be uncomfortable to some level. Maybe it is like, you know, I was pushing way too hard on that position or on that dream or on that relationship. And you're having to come to terms with that. But if you do and you settle into that acceptance and you change your, your path or, you know, the way you're approaching something, you can have a really beautiful outcome. You're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. See? So for some, and I have a cancer moon in Western um, you know, some of us have been caught up in like a toxic emotional cycle with relationships. Yes. And so this can be a, a discovery around that, a release, and then you're kind of laying low for a little bit. And then maybe you do meet somebody, or maybe you do take a fresh perspective and you start trying new things, right? It opens up your life and that's what it is. Emotional turmoil gets set down. Then we have, <laughs> what do you need to release? Waning moon. See, this is exactly the process. You're learning what you need to lay down and let go of. But again, you can't intellectually go, well, I know that this isn't healthy and therefore I'm just going to force myself to lay it down. It's not how that goes because then you'll dream about it and then you'll be just out doing whatever. And that person pops up in your head or that situation pops up in your head and you're wishing you had said, you know, whatever, or it's still draining you in one way or another. Some of you are still attached to these situations. Maybe you have to be like, God forbid, if it's a divorce or something like that, you have to be in touch because of the kids. That's one thing. But, um, what do you need to release? What is the, um, resentment, the resentment that is holding you prisoner? That I don't even need to tell you because you will have already figured it out. And it might take someone from the past coming back to call you up and be like, Hey baby, 
what's up? Or <laughs> like an old um, boss calling you back and being like, hey, we got the greatest deal of the century. If you come in right now, we'll pay you this amount. And then you pay attention to how you feel if that should occur for you, if that's your situation. Because I bet there's going to be this, why in the heck did I ever talk to you in the first place? Again, try not to be so judgmental as I'm putting it. <laughs> but you know, you might go, no, thank you. I don't want that job. Where before you were like, oh gosh, I just hope one day they offer me that role or whatever. Now you have clarity. Now you know that that might not be the right thing for you. Same thing with like a past friendship, past relationship. If that's, again, uh, you'll get some clarity of why you didn't have that or why you took that out of your life in the first place. Be careful with anybody who says that they've changed. Ask yourself this very simple question. Do I want to invest more time in this? If it's a person, have they already gotten enough of me? If it's a situation, have I already given enough to this situation, right? There's freedom and there can be peace and a settled feeling within you, which might be a nice change, <laughs> All right? So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hi there, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you. We'll pull a few cards here. be good about there a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer uh yeah it reaches resolution but i think it has to hit a climax first like i'm hearing enough is enough the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini i'll hold these up as i talk about them and communication is key new moon in gemini listen <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, listen. There, there's going to be, perhaps for a lot of you out there, some very deep heart-to-heart -heart kind of conversations. And this could be something that you've been very confused by. Um, you don't know how to move forward. And, you know, it may not be the time to move forward until towards the end of the month going into November. But definitely want to look at this and, and really see what your part was in it and understanding the other perspective explore the opposite that's what I want to say here explore the opposite because there could be a situation where you've gotten so hung up in your perspective that you're like this is the only perspective and you're crazy if you don't see it this way where <laughs> you're like sometimes we get so like fed up with something we're like no I'm not gonna try to work with you anymore on this whatever but this could also be finances um, I feel like a big financial pull on that. And here we go. The answers you need are coming. So again, the clarity is going to be there, but you have to kind of be willing to look at it <laughs> because there could be like, no, um, darn it. I'm not making enough money and they'll never pay me enough money, but then you find another opportunity or maybe they do give you a raise or maybe your love partner does finally tell you what's going on. Whatever the deal is, the answers are coming and then I'm hearing be your own best advocate. So, you know, this could be you finding solutions on your own. Ah, yeah, that's what it is. Maybe you've been waiting to hear back from somebody. This is that kind of thing. Like, let's say I'm a writer. So this is a very fresh example. <laughs> let's say you're, you're writing something and then you're kind of at the mercy of these literary agents to decide when they're going to look at your work and to decide if you're worth representing or not. And maybe you go, you know what, I'm tired of waiting. And you go off and you self-publish. And you say, I'm not going to do this anymore. And yes, I may not be getting all the level of departments and quality and, you know, all that in the editorial process or in the marketing process or in book covers or what have you. But it's more important that I get my story out there. It's more important that I um, get this laid down and not be so dependent on others. Does that make sense? So that's an interesting message there because... And some of you, if you do already have an agent of some sort, you're finding a different agent. Or if you go through like a job placement agency and they're just acting more and more like used car salesmen. No offense to used car salesmen out there. I mean, there are a lot of you who are really super awesome people, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. The stereotypical person, right? And they're so like salesman -y and just trying to like push you on something. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to go work with somebody else. You're just not taking it anymore. Enough is enough. Like, I'm just not going to do this. And communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So you're finding a solution 
And again, there is going to be a difficult conversation here at some point, whether that is a breakup or maybe it's the opposite of a breakup. Hey, I love you. You know, you never look at me. I'm just your best friend, but I love you. You know, <laughs> it could be something like that. Or it could be, it, it does feel like whoever is the connector between you and a goal or you and a job or you and whatever, you're, you're kind of going, you know what? I need to work with somebody else here because you're not representing me the way I want to be represented. Or, you know, again, going along the example of literary agents, if you've ever, let's say you write a book, if you've ever worked with them, they will come back and want tons of changes to then say, oh, you know what? I don't think I can, I don't think I can get this out there or whatever. I mean, there's a, there are a lot of like people in those positions that you know, probably, I don't know how they got through. Um, but you know, it could be something like that where you're having, so it could be for some of you having to fire someone or break up with somebody. If you are in toxic friendships, it could be that kind of conversation, but what it, whatever it is, it's coming from a good place because you have to get yourself to that good place and that point of clarity. So this isn't like, I'm going to break up with you because I find you so boring. Nobody has to show up and entertain you. Okay. That's not good enough. But if you have a toxic friend and you say, you know what, I just think we're going in different directions here. Bless you. You go your way, I'll go mine. Right? No, I'm not going to get sucked back into this. And then you pull back and you walk away. All right? It's something along those lines. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hi there, Virgo. Let's see what is going on for you. We will be pulling a few cards here and getting a story for you. Oh, there's one that wants to come out. What do you need to release, Wayne Moon? This is, these cards have been coming out for everybody. Don't forget to watch your sun, moon, rising, your Venus sign if you like. But there's a lot around release. But the feeling around the release is really nice. It's really like, I can let this go now. It's over, I'm safe. <laughs> All right? I said that to another sign, but it, it's very bad. Like, I don't have to put energy into this anymore. Those are the kinds of things that you'll be looking at or probably be faced with, I guess I should say. All right. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. Now, what this feels like is personality. If you have historically uh, self-sabotaged, you're becoming aware of that. And that's part of this, what do you need to release? You're becoming aware of that and you are releasing it. Or if you are somebody who, um, I don't know, maybe you deal with social anxiety. I don't know. I am not qualified to help you with that. Please get with an expert. But whatever it is, you're healing it. And, or at least working on it and coming on through. So again, old ways of viewing yourself. That is going away. And then we, we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon of cancer. You guys are completely making, I feel like money moves. Okay. Like you're finally going, I'm going to let go of this poverty mentality or this poverty consciousness. And I'm going to just open it up and see what happens. Like it's not a whole lot of like push, push, push just to make it happen, but just seeing what, what the potential is. And then boom, now you've got this free flow coming in. Now you've got maybe a better financial situation or you have more opportunities coming in or you're getting along better with the people around you. I'm a little nervous about my mic being this close to that, <laughs> that necklace I have. I don't want it hitting that. But you know, this is a turn. It's a turn of events, but we cannot sit around waiting for external events to define our happiness. Nor can we sit around and say, when everybody else learns how to behave, I can be happy. Now, there are plenty of things that are wrong with this world, <laughs> no doubt, but we can't be sitting around waiting for other people to act in the way we want them to. That's one thing. Um, I know people used to say that to me all the time when I would point out how inconsiderate some people were. And un unfortunately, I had some very, very, very unhealthy people, like covert narcissists as friends. And so one of their ways of being very cutting was to say, well, people can't act the way you want, right? That's not what I'm talking about. But I'm, I'm talking about, okay, you do your thing. You know, it's not like you're trying to control how somebody else behaves, but you're not going to wait to see what they want to do before you make a move. Does that make sense? Um, now that's different if you have children or a spouse or something, you know, you're a family unit, you all got to discuss this, right? <laughs> if you want to start a new business or something like that, if it's going to affect everybody, but this is more of that feeling of, 
you know what? I'm going to take my power back. It is that. It is very that. And it's like, I'm going to let go of old resentments. I'm going to let go of um, feeling so guarded. Let go of having to feel so guarded. And know that whatever comes my way, I have the tools and resources to handle it. Okay? So it's very that. Um, I, I just keep feeling this. I'm not going to worry about that anymore. So it's not pretending that things aren't happening and being in denial. It's just deciding not to give your energy away anymore. Okay? It's a good feeling. It's a great feeling. And comment down below about how this is affecting you. Okay? So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hi there, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you. We shall be pulling a few cards here. So on a personal level, I've been noticing for a lot of the signs here that... Um, it's just a lot about change and things being, I don't want to say, kind of like, like put to rest, old arguments put to rest. So we'll see what's coming up for you because I feel like for you, there might be new arguments getting started. <laughs> a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. What it feels like for you is that you have been doing a lot of self-work and you are doing a lot of healing. And so people might be... Um, testing you on that coming at you and saying why are you acting like this who do you think you are you know how dare you have confidence if you have confidence that means you're self-centered right or trying to twist it so that it becomes a toxic thing so you are having some discovery around that first so it's not as if um you come into October or whenever you're watching this, this can, I'm releasing it in October, 2021, but you can treat this as timeless. Um, but you may be coming in going, oh, this thing, this thing, this thing. And then it hits this moment and it's sort of like, you're, I must get the feeling like you're dumbfounded and, and you have a sudden realization <laughs> about everything that's been going on for you. But for a lot of you, I think it's like a self revelation of, you catch yourself and kind of go, oh, I'm being really defensive. Why am I being so defensive? Uh, I had to catch myself the other day. I got up in the morning, did my thing, and then I started to make breakfast, got up and did meditation and all that stuff, and then started to make breakfast. And I'm always trying to multitask, which is something I have to stop doing, <laughs> right? Because I'm trying to answer emails while I'm multitasking. And I realized I had a oh, kind of moment where I'm like, I just sent that email and it wasn't full of typos. It just came off as very uh, curt. It was just kind of very direct. And I'm a direct person, certainly. But it, this was not matching the response I was trying to get across. It was just literally in my head. I thought I had said stuff but did not type it out. <laughs> so that's a, you know, a self-realization kind of, not realization, but you know, a moment of like, oh, I need to work on that right? Where do I feel like I have to push so hard in my life that it's to the point where I have to multitask when I'm trying to respond to emails and then I might be causing more problems through my communication because I'm not focusing on what I'm doing. That can be something that you realize that's a pattern I need to break or I need to watch that or I need to stop putting so much pressure on myself to get so much done, you know, that kind of stuff, right? Like that's, it could be as simple as that, but definitely it's, it's, some perspective on how you handle things, okay? Which is wonderful. It's a wonderful freeing kind of feeling. But first you have the little, like this thing that builds up to it that makes you realize that. Yeah, and a new start is coming. Look at that, new moon. And so again, for you guys, it's all about how, you, how you're seeing things. Again, it's all about that perspective. And so you might find that Things that would have rattled you before don't rattle you so much anymore. Or things that um, you thought you wanted, that's a big one. Because the world is shifting and changing. And so you might have had all these things that, like, if you're like me, I don't know why. I'm, like, really crazy about my home. My home has to be pretty and organized and, and all of that. So home projects are always at the forefront of my mind because I wake up and I like look over. I'm like, ah, that dresser drawer needs to be polished up again. Ah, you know, <laughs> got handprints on it. I hate that. Oh no. But really, if, if I just step back a moment, does it really matter? No. Why am I stressed right now? Because I'm trying to get everything done and organize my closet. Why? Nobody's going to be in there. <laughs> 
Like it can wait. It's not a priority. Do you see what I'm saying? Like we might be functioning from this place of high stress and it's being caused by things that could be shifted or it's, it doesn't matter at all. You feel me? Yeah. I, I think you guys have that kind of new approach two things. What do we have here? Surrender to the divine full moon. Yeah. You guys are kind of like, there is a moment here of throwing your hands up, but when you go off and you, and you let it set a little bit, this is really helping you overcome something. This is really helping you get clarity. And again, letting go of things that take your energy, but don't deserve it. <laughs> right now that again, it's our societal narrative and it's kind of a goofy one. It's like overly simplistic and not realistic at all. Um, you know, just let it go. Pretend like it's not happening. Fake it till you make it. Ask anybody who's had to go through therapy, how well that works. <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay. It might work momentarily to get you through something, but ultimately that's not, that's not the solution. This is about deep level work where you're really letting go of those deep patterns. And now you know, you can just kind of go, okay, God, I'm going to lay that, God's source creator, whatever you call it, I'm going to lay that issue over with you. And, and you finally break free. It's really what it is for you. It's breaking free. And little by little, I want to really emphasize this. This is not rushing ahead and trying to make something happen, but rather it, it's messy for you. Things are in pieces, but I think you're okay with the pieces because suddenly I don't know why I'm getting this image. You guys know those, what are those, the kinder eggs? Like, are you ever afraid to smash one of those? I'm not. I'm like, what's that toy? <laughs> what's inside? You know, or any kind of chocolate that has like more candy on the inside. It's that kind of feeling like, yeah, you're cracking this little chocolate open, but there's a surprise inside, right? Okay, listen, they're not all great, but there you go. <laughs> I think that's kind of the time that you're in where you're breaking open the form to release whatever's inside. And maybe that's a new idea. Maybe that's a fresh perspective, as we've been saying, or maybe it's a solution. Whatever it is, it has a very fresh, new beginning kind of feel about it. Okay, so there you go. We're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hi there, Scorpio. Let's see what is going on for you. Okay, I immediately got this image of somebody just picking up a bunch of stuff and just like throwing it out the window, like literally just scooping stuff up. And it, it has this feeling of like, I'm tired of this hanging over my head. I'm tired of tripping over this piece of furniture. It's got to go. I'm tired of my closet. This literally happened to me the other day, um, middle of the night. All my sweaters that I had packed away at the top of my closet, like all the bags that I store them in, fell off. And... Um, you know, I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't need so many sweaters. I'm sick of storing these stupid things, right? <laughs> so it's very funny. It's like you just kind of get tired of something hanging over your head and you just a little forcefully jump in and just start kind of wrecking it, but you don't even care anymore. You're just like, get rid of it. So be careful with that. You might end up getting rid of something that you didn't mean to. This is, yeah, I'm hearing your time to shine. Uh, this is lovely. This is a, now there's going to be a lot of stuff going out, all going on out in the world, but for you, believing in you, this is, this would be people see, not that you need other people to see your worth for it to be valid, but um, people are seeing your worth. They're liking what you have to say. It's finally like you're getting the credit that you deserve, okay? So you, as a Scorpio, you are the ones that people are always like, oh, you're too cynical. You're so negative. Comment down below. How often do you hear that? Um, or, you know, why are you always, you know, people get very uncomfortable with your transformational energy, right? And so they want you to change for their comfort. And that usually means don't talk so much. Don't say what you got to say. Or when you show up, you better have a happy face on because don't come in being who you are <laughs> or whatever, right? Like it's that kind of feeling around it. So you're, you're finally being appreciated where people might start coming in and going, wait a minute, I judged you harshly for what you said back then, but now it's playing out. 
tell me more about what you were talking about then. It's that sort of thing. Or like me doing readings. I'm a Scorpio in Western. I'm a Scorpio sign. I have a ton of Scorpio on my chart um, in Western astrology. But I'll do readings and people will come back to me sometimes a year or two later. And they will say things like, I didn't like the reading when you sent it to me. But now, oh my gosh, I can't believe how how this was hitting everything that I'm going through right now. I had no idea it was going to play out like this. It's that kind of thing. So it's like delayed uh, appreciation, <laughs> right? That's how I want to put it. So show the world the real you. Here you go. Full moon in Aquarius, fly your freak flag. You know, if you are super into like occult, you know, arts, what I call esoteric arts, um, and people are always making fun of you and they're usually like those psychologists on YouTube. They've got to have like some snide remark for people believing in something beyond the physical, which is funny because they're psychologists. I mean, yeah, you could poke a brain, but you can't touch psychology, <laughs> right? You can't touch that. So it's, uh, I could get on a whole soapbox thing with that. But this is saying you're not bothered with that. You're not bothered with that. You're not saying anything like you're bad for not believing how I believe, but you're not allowing it to affect you or question, make you question yourself. You're like, no, this is who I am. This is what I'm creating. This is what I made. Take it or you don't, <laughs> right? And you're like, this is how it's going to be. And, the, and again, there will be a wild amount of, I have these upside down, the whole deck. Um, there will be this wild amount of appreciation coming your way. Hold your vision. Yeah, fixed moon. Do not change. I'm telling you, if this is a project and you've been like afraid to put it out there, like, is this too weird? Am I not good enough? Is this not enough? Is this not whatever, whatever? Trust yourself. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You're very intuitive. You're very insightful. And your words have great impact for people if they just accept it. Now, you can't force anybody to accept it. They don't have to. Right? They don't have to take your opinion as fact, right? But hold your vision definitely does say, believe in yourself, you're going somewhere with this. Okay? So as much as people want to like laugh, some of you may have literally gotten laughed at over something. And you're like, I ain't doing this, right? So uh, balance spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So with this card is always saying, maybe you've dreamed big, maybe you have been in the spiritual realm and, you know, doing all that work, but now you got to bring it into the practical. So big ideas that become real, big ideas that become real. And for all the naysayers, this isn't why we do projects. Okay. This is not why we, you know, strive for success. That's not what this is supposed to be about. It's not about valid getting validation from people who doubted you. But what I'm saying is when you hold your vision and you're just being authentic, once it gets out there and you're being very balanced and how you do that, right? Suddenly people go, oh, I get it. Again, you don't need this. You don't need them to approve of you, but they will. And this can be incredibly prosperous for you as well. So if there's been a big idea that you've been working on, you know, we do have Mercury retrograde here in the beginning of the month, but you know, you can make things happen for yourself. And bigger than that, it's like finally feeling comfortable with who you are and at home in your own skin, which as a Scorpio, with all the expectations put on society and how you're supposed to behave and how you're supposed to act, when you do carry this kind of frequency, people don't always respond to it very well right? They, they, they think of you as like the evil one or someone who's like dark and spooky or all these stupid stereotypes. When in fact, you're the beautiful emotional energy that can hold a lot of space for someone to find their way. And I think people are going to start discovering that about you now. All right. So we're going to leave it there for you. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hi there, Sagittarius. Let's see what is going on for you. I'm getting a little bit of a vision here of somebody reaching out and then hurrying up and pulling back. So you might get some negative feedback on something here, um, but it's not necessarily because of something that you did wrong. It's because someone is misinterpreting your intentions. And so there's going to need to be clarification. Be very careful with that. All right. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. Yeah. It kind of has this feel of like I was going to make this move, but oh, people feel really inflamed about this. Like, ooh, oh my gosh. Um, I was 
going to support this, but why, why does everybody have such a problem with that? It's you second guessing, but because of information that you got, you have coming at you. For some of you, this is about school and children in school. Should they be there or should they be at home? Right? But you'll be able to figure it out. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Yeah. So again, it's like, I know where I'm going. Oh, 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 I got, I got more information. Oh, and you kind of, <laughs> you stand back and you rework something. You look at all the facts and then you kind of go, okay, okay. I adjusted how I'm moving forward. So that will play out in a very lovely way for you. And something can be very, very prosperous, but it does need some tweaking. But you can't do it until you figure out the information coming through. Emotions are running high. Yeah, it, I, it's a super moon. You might be involved because a lot of people are watching this. So you might be one of the ones involved in the uproar. Or you might be going, I'm just going to stand back with my hands up. Like, oh my gosh. The reason why I paused there because I, I started to get this vision. I don't know if this is like the PTA or whatever, but people are, and this has been in the news too, where people are like standing up and they're getting super um, hyper about something. What it is, is you thought you, you had a viewpoint and you thought like, no, I feel very steady in that viewpoint. So I'm going to go this way with that viewpoint and then boom, 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 boom. All these other bits of information start coming in and you come back like, oof, oof. okay, hold on, hold on. I got recalculating, <laughs> right? I have to figure out a way around this. I didn't know that I was about to head in this direction, but now I know that kind of thing. This might be as simplistic as um, maybe you were planning a trip and then you hear a hurricane is coming and you're like, oh, <laughs> but maybe, maybe not. Maybe we won't be vacationing there uh, in the Bahamas or whatever. So whatever it is, try to take it in stride and, and pay it. Well, you know, you want to pay attention and be alert, but uh, consider all the information that's coming in, do your own research. That way you know which way to go. But the, I, what it feels like is there, there might be a lot of warning signs in your face. And if you ignore that, for example, the weather thing that I was just saying, like if you're in a space where you're like, no, 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 we already paid for this cruise. We're going, I don't even care. <sighs> okay. Maybe not the best decision. <laughs> okay. That's not, listen to your instincts on this. I'm telling you that emotions running high. It really, like I see some of you are in a room and there are other people there. Like it's like a, a meeting could be a business meeting too, where someone is just, they have been bottling up a lot. For some of you, this is just like people wanting to be right, wanting to be heard. So they get out there and they get loud. For others, this would be people who actually, they need to be heard. They need to be heard. Maybe they've been holding this in and they've got a bit of information and they say, no, you guys don't understand X, Y, and Z. Pull it back. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about, where it's kind of like, I thought I knew how I felt, but this is new. Now what? It's going to be very much like that. So try to keep your emotions in check. I keep seeing like someone's about to put their hand into something that's hot and they jerk back. Okay. And I mean, emotionally hot. Like I was going to come in here and be like, well, what's wrong with that? And then all of a sudden everybody just like, comes in and is like, are you kidding me? What do you mean? What's wrong with that? Do you not know what's going on? And it, again, it could be things that have been happening in the world that you had not heard about. And so your opinion was based on what you thought you knew, right? So there's going to be some shifting around that. But I do think you're going to have to contend with people uh, maybe not being very diplomatic in how they're presenting things. I don't know that it's directed at you, but you're in the room when they're yelling. Okay. And every situation is going to be different. So just be ready for that. <laughs> All right. We're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hi there, Capricorn. Let's see what is going on for you. We shall pull a few cards here. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just saw somebody like with every one of these signs, I get this like little glimpse of a, of a vision, a vision, uh, and this one was like, I actually see a man 
and he comes in, he plops in a chair, he kicks his shoes off. He's right next to a fireplace and he just like sinks down in the chair. He's like, oh, <laughs> so maybe this is like, it has a feeling of hiding. Like you're in your little hideaway, like unplugging your phone, figure it out for yourself. Everybody leave me alone. I'm going to sit here with my, my drink next to the fireplace. Like, yeah. It's very that. <laughs> All right. So we have adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. You're having to adjust what you expect of yourself. And um, you're going to have to adjust a little bit better to a changing world. So if you are somebody who is a business owner or you're even in an industry that you thought was going to be there forever, like people in who rent videos, right? Um, instead of <laughs> getting with the streaming service, they just kept on with their old model and it fell apart. So... It does have that kind of feel. Make sure you're understanding where the world is heading and what the viewpoint is. Not that you have to certainly never give up on your integrity. If you feel like the world is going down kind of a cheapened place, you know, like, okay, I'm not dumbing down my services to accommodate people who, you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm going to keep this here because there are people who need this kind of whatever. Um, but... If you are in an industry or your way of thinking is, is about to completely destruct what you have put together, um, then you want to make adjustments. Does that make sense? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. So playing a false game. That's what I just heard. You're playing a false game. And so it might be one of those things of, no, 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 everything's fine. It feels like denial. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nope. It's not. Let's see. Because it feels like there's some awareness that you need to shift how you do things, but you're not doing it yet. Maybe out of fear. Maybe you just don't know how to move forward. I, I'm getting a little bit of a stuck energy for you guys here. Yeah, meditate and contemplate, yeah. New moon in Pisces. Like, you know that things need to change. You just don't have the ideas yet on how or which way to go. And, um, yeah, I feel like you need to take a different approach in your spiritual practice, too. That doesn't mean just adopting a whole other practice. But what that means is perhaps not being so magical thinking about it. So, I've heard lots of times where people say, oh, I needed money. So I just went and manifested some money. But if you're not addressing why you needed the money in the first place, right? So like, let's say you're in a poverty mentality and you're like, I'm going to go manifest some money. And you're really mentally thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And you get a little bit of money that comes in, but then you didn't fix the underlying problem right? You didn't fix that belief system that you have. And so you're going to constantly be mentally exhausting yourself, trying to manifest more money, manifest more money, manif <laughs> instead of just going through the lesson that is around your finances, whatever that is for you. You feel me? It is that kind of thing. Now, some of you are not going to relent. Some of you are just going to keep going and going and going until things fall apart drastically. And that is absolutely how I'm hearing it. When things fall apart drastically. So what can you do? You can stay very in touch with your spiritual self. Yes. Looking at how you respond. Paying attention to inspirations that come up. And really just do whatever you can to not be afraid of those inspirational moments. All right. Or um, being so practical that when the inspiration comes, you're not sitting with it, maybe even jotting down some notes about what you think you might want to try or do or whatever. And, and just getting back to the day to day. Right. Or saying, well, no, I don't want to like invest in something that I'm not 100% sure about, which is understandable. Then do your research. But this is the old way is not going to work anymore. Okay, and that is where they're saying adjustments are required. Show the world the real you. So there's a story you've been telling yourself for a very long time. And now it's time to acknowledge that you have grown past that. All right, I'm trying a new way. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hi there, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you. Now, immediately I am hearing don't push. Don't push. <laughs> don't push because there's a way, there's an easier way 
It just hasn't been made apparent to you just yet. And it'll be because of you, like you forgetting an old skill and, and saying, oh, that's right. I used to do that. All right. So let me hold these up for you. So the first one we have here is you're very close to achieving your goal. Gibbous moon. And then we have hold your vision and it's time to release negativity. I'll hold these up here in just a second. But what that started to make me think, there's something that you want or there's some way that you've been functioning that you know doesn't work for you. I think you're going to stay in this pattern, this holding pattern. That's how I want to say it, like a holding pattern uh, for a while, past the next 30 days. But you are starting to have more discovery around which direction you need to go in. And this it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. I mean, the issues, they're, they're coming up in your face now. So if you are in a very toxic work situation, a toxic relationship, it's not like something awful has to happen for you to wake up to this. It's just now you're like, it's realizing you deserve better. And this might be shielding yourself. This might be, again, releasing this negativity. But the full moon in Scorpio, this is like blaring in your face about how you need to change and what needs to change in your life. Now, this cannot be done from a place of anger. You do this from a place of anger and it might not go well, <laughs> right? Or it might, there might be some like backlash or, or what have you. But don't push, don't push, don't push. Because I feel like some of you, you're wanting to hurry up and start maybe a new business, but you didn't do all the research or you want to hurry up and get something done because you want to be famous or you know what I'm saying? Like those are kind of silly examples, but, um, people do that. They will do that. They're not allowing the soul lesson to unfold before they move on. You're in, some of you are in this cycle of the way you perceive things. We've been talking about this for a lot of the signs. But for you, it's in this, seeing everything, maybe it's just in a certain situation, but seeing everything around that situation in a negative light. Um, now, this is not making excuses for bad behavior. This is not saying, oh, that's just how, you know, don't be an enabler. Okay, that's not what we're talking about here. But it might be one of those things where you're complaining about your job, complaining about your job, complaining about your job. So why don't you leave? It's that. And you might say, well, I'm afraid to leave. I, I need that paycheck and health insurance. And I know, <laughs> I know it's very hard to make that leap, but hold your vision fixed moon. Here you go. There is something that you can work towards. Again, do it very, take calculated risks, okay? Educated risks. So make sure you're doing your research before you go running ahead. So again, if you're in a toxic situation with a relationship, make sure you're doing your research on what resources are out there to help you before you do anything. It's different for all of you. Some of you, I don't know, some of you, because I'm hearing displaced and I'm seeing a home. That's why I'm hoping I don't know, because then it starts to go into a scramble. There's all these different stories around that. But um, for some of you, you're moving away. You're trying to have a fresh start. Things in play cannot go on any longer. So you're really having to look at where the toxicity is in your life and not just looking at where that is and handling that situation in a healthy way way with support, whatever that is for you, but looking at your own patterns and what brought that up. Why, why have I found myself in a job that I can't stand and then feel like I can't leave? I've been there. I've been there. You know what the, the big thing was? I was working with narcissists and sociopaths who would feed. And I started to doubt myself so much that I had to ask people, do you think this will be okay to do this? Cause I don't want any more trouble. You know, what if I did this? Are you sure you think, you know, cause I would go and get advice from people who knew these people a little bit better than I did. And I allowed myself to be in this mental and emotional prison within this work environment thinking because I was getting feedback from them that I was not good enough for anything. Wasn't good enough to promote. I, you know, it's just Michelle, whatever, give her the, the grunt work and she better do it happily because she, she's not even good enough to be here in the first place. 
it was that sort of thing. And then one day it took someone coming up and saying something like over the top rude, like just rude. And I went, what am I doing? Why am I here? And I went off and I started to do my research and I started Angel Souls and I freed myself. <laughs> okay. Now I'm not saying it's been all sunshine and rainbows since then. Being a sole proprietor is very difficult, but, um, it, it has that kind of feel. I'm giving that example for very good reason. It has that kind of feel where you're in this mental prison in some situation in your life. And hopefully you have with, you know, with a lot of peace, again, hopefully, hopefully this will be with peace that you sort of spark awake and go, I'm not doing this anymore. Now, again, if you're in a toxic love partnership, please check with local resources about how to get out of a situation like that safely. Okay. But if it's a job thing or you want to get out of your house, see, that's the thing. I feel like a lot of you may want to move because you want to feel safer. And what that starts to make me think is like, oh, you know, I live on the East coast here in the United States has been getting hammered. Right. So people on the East coast might say, you know what? I don't want to live here anymore. It doesn't feel safe. And so you're, and it's a big deal, right? You're having to make a decision to move. You're having to go through all the, uh, the stuff that you do to have to plan a move and to find a house and you know, all of that. So it could be something along those lines where it's a much needed change that you have resisted for a very, very, very long time. And I mean, yeah, you'll get the inspiration on how to do it, but you still have to do it. And that's the part that I'm feeling that's like, kind of like, yay, I'm going to make a change, but <laughs> I got to pack boxes, ew. or I have to have that uncomfortable conversation. I remember when I, that example I was given when I was about to give my notice, um, my boss at the time was so unhinged that I had already packed up. I was expecting her to tell me to get out that day. And my heart, I cannot tell you how hard it was thudding when I gave my notice and she didn't take me seriously. And I was like, no, I'm serious. And she's like, oh, can you stay for a month? I thought you hated looking at my face. I was waiting for you to tell me, yeah, right now. <laughs> what? And I had to stay for a month and actually uh, helped interview my replacement. It was the most bizarre thing. So, you know, again, it's a, it's a hard thing to actually face and do. And you might have a lot of, you know, pressure around doing it, but it has to be done. Do so peacefully. Make, make sure you're doing your research. Make sure you know what you're doing as you go through it. All right. We're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hi there, Pisces. Let's see what is going on for you. Let's get you a few cards here. What are you up against? Well, what are, what beautiful things are going to be happening for you? <laughs> You're breaking free of a mindset. It's been a lot of what people are contending with. So there's probably like a general energy around that um, and it's affecting everybody. And you know, it might be catastrophe, not for you personally, but it could be you're seeing out in the world what's going on and it's setting you straight on what, what you put your time into. I get a feeling with you guys, it's like, I don't wanna argue anymore. It's not even worth it, who cares? Or if you've been ruminating on something, you might suddenly wake up and go, why am I wasting energy? It doesn't even matter. It has no effect on my life, right? So just bear that in mind. Okay. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah, full moon in Sagittarius. That's what I was just saying. There could be things that are like <sighs> kind of crazy going on and this sets your priorities straight where you're having to reevaluate. <laughs> Look at the bigger picture. Things are not as serious as you think. Okay, or maybe, like especially some of you out there where you're like, I feel so betrayed. I feel so betrayed. Now you might've had, you know, like a big betrayal would be somebody cheating, God forbid. And I'm not saying anybody's gonna cheat on you, but that, that's a big deal. Or you might, someone maybe just didn't tell you something because they knew you were going to freak out about it, okay? And yet you still feel very betrayed. Like, why didn't you tell me that? Look at the bigger picture, okay? So this isn't making any excuses for bad behavior, but there could be some way that you present where people are a little afraid to tell you things. Or maybe there is, um, they knew 
that you were going to react in a certain way. And so they hid it from you because you reacting a certain way could really affect an outcome. It's that sort of thing. Okay. So like for you, there might be something that's like, oh, I can't believe you hid that from me, but they have good reason for it. In some cases, not in all, check into everything. Okay. A fiery, <laughs> so you're arguing about this. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Someone has, has uh, not told you everything. Again, they have their reasons. They have their reasons, but it's not apparently going to make you feel any better about it. So you might, let's get the other card. Oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> Emotions are running high. There, there's going to be a big old confrontation going on here. Super moon. This is, I'm putting my foot down. Be careful. You don't want to go into something where you're being too controlling. Um, but there is something probably from somebody around you that they didn't tell you they were hiding it from you, but again, because they didn't want you overreacting. Okay. So this could be something where maybe someone was sick and you don't live that close. And so they kind of hid it from you. And then when you find out, you're like, you went through all of that and you didn't tell me what are you talking about why wouldn't you tell me i can't believe this you know it's that sort of thing or for some of you it could be a spouse who's not being truthful about finances um maybe maybe they knew they were about to lose their job but they were afraid to tell you it's that sort of thing so it's not like it's something that's not fixable it's just the hassle of having to look at it and ask the tough questions why did you lie Again, for some of you, it could be that, um, I don't know why I'm getting this example, like a, uh, like a female and they have a male coworker, like a, it's a heterosexual kind of thing. Um, and maybe, you know, your wife, let's say, let's say you have a wife and the wife was afraid to tell you that this coworker has been flirting with her, even though she's kind of like, no, 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 no. I'm married, but she was afraid of how you would react or that you would jump to conclusions and assume that something is going on, right? And so she purposely hid this from you. <coughs> Excuse me. It's that sort of thing. Now, for some of you, could this be a major betrayal? Some of you are in very toxic relationships and the person that you're with, you know that they're toxic and you know they don't really care about your feelings. For some, a small portion of you out there, this might be that month where you're like, I got to look at the bigger picture of my life. Do I want to keep going down this road with this particular person who's always lying to me, who's always taking advantage of me? So some of you, that is your story where you're having to make that. Please be careful if you're dealing with like somebody who's extremely toxic, make sure you are doing so in the right way. Okay. That will keep you the safest. But, um, I hate to tell you guys this. <laughs> I hate to tell you where it's like, um, watch out for betrayal. It, it's, uh, for most of you, it's not that serious. And yet you'll have a big reaction to it. You know, I mean, it could be as silly as I've been feeding you broccoli for 20 years and you don't like broccoli. Why would you hide that from me? <laughs> right? Or... You have a food allergy, you have a coconut allergy, and I keep giving you these, these cookies with coconuts in, and you didn't tell me, you know, it's one of those things where someone for, I think this is a story for a lot of you. Someone was just afraid of what you would think of them. Okay. It's that, that was the motivation for hiding something from you. So each of you, it's going to be different. You're going to have to, um, feel that out for some of you who have adult children, um, and some of them are in financial trouble. They didn't want to tell you. They didn't want you thinking less of them. Some of them have gotten themselves down a troubled road with substances and things, and they did not want to tell you. Now, that doesn't mean that everybody's watching this and you have an adult child, they're going to come out and say that they have some sort of addiction. It, it doesn't mean that. It's just you're going to see one way or another how another person in your world Depends on how you see it. Values your opinion so much that they hid something from you or they're afraid of you and hid what was going on. Either way, you're going to have to face this, okay? 
And it's probably not going to be the best idea to go lashing out at the other person who is simply afraid of telling you, okay? They, or they didn't want to hurt you. Yeah, that's another one. They didn't want to. They didn't want to hurt you or get you all worked up or spark any insecurities, like in the example with the office situation, like coworker thing. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. Like you, you got the one that was like, that's not fun. How is this? No. What it does is it clears the air. Okay, so there might be an uncomfortable moment there, but you'll go, you'll come past it again. Some of you have deeper situations than others, um, but whatever it is, the clarity is there. And now this is going to trigger some bit of self shifting, right? I'll give an example way, way, way back. Uh, I had a friend who ended up getting into trouble and she did not tell me what was going on. She told all of our other friends, but I didn't find I literally, I think I found out like a year or two after the fact. And I was like, are you serious? That why didn't you tell me? And she said to me, because I thought you would think badly of me. You thought I would judge you. Well, I thought you would, because I'm, I'm kind of like a mama bear. <laughs> and I'm always telling, and it's not fun. And it's annoying to people. I'm aware. Okay. And I'm trying not to do it. But um, I think she thought like I would be like, told you so. Because this was something I had warned her against. And she went ahead and did it anyway. And, uh, didn't tell me when the outcome was bad. But I had to look at that and go, my friend thought that I was going to judge her. Where is she getting that impression? How am I giving that off? I want my friends to feel close to me and like they can tell me anything. I had to look at that. And I had to come to terms with the fact that because of my own fear, see it gets deep because of my own fear of having something like that occur to me. I was like being overprotective and telling everybody like, oh, we, you know, but again, it, it hooks into our own fears. And so we have to go even deeper and look at that. And a lot of times we avoid that at all costs. This is a time for you where you're going through that, that kind of moment of reevaluating how you come across, um, especially to the people who are closest to you in your life, okay? And then, of course, where does that trigger something in you and working on that? Cool? No, it's not cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I am sending you all so much love and take care.